it's time to have a look at the current code we have available for our continue. So just a small introduction about what we're going to end up doing in this series that we're starting right now. Step one, we're going to actually take the last series about the clean architecture and we're going to convert that from a simple customer console application into a customer REST API so that we can actually provide access for the outside world to our data. That's kind of what a REST API is supposed to do for us. So you're going to learn about HTTP requests, you're going to learn about uh, Postman for actually trying to get some data from a REST API, you're going to learn about what a REST API can do when it gets a request and how it can handle the request and return a reply. We're going to learn so many beautiful things and we are going to just work on the current architecture code. I'm going to grab that in the next lesson. I'm going to pull it down and we're going to then remove the console app right here and convert it into a REST API and then we're going to start uh, working on what we already have in our core and in our infrastructure for this series right here. And the next series we're going to then, just to give you guys a little tease, the next series we're going to then remove the infrastructure that we have where it's just static list right now in the repository. We're going to convert that into actually being a SQL database. So in the next, after the next two series, you have a real REST API, a real running REST API, real running backend for a web application. So it's awesome. Now, what are we actually trying to do? Well, we built this in the last couple of series. We actually end up building this application core and a small infrastructure and a small UI for our application. And that's what we have available right here. And I want to now extend it and remove the current user interface, which is a console app. I'm going to convert that and change it into a REST API um, this lesson or this series. And that would pre pretty much just mean that I don't have to change anything from this top area right here. Everything, the only thing I change is the blue stuff, the yellow and the red is going to stay exactly the same. I'll explain why in the next couple of lessons. But what are we going to do? Well, I put in this link in the description, you can go and read it. This is actually creating a web API. If you guys can't wait for my videos, you can just go in and follow this guide. He explains in this series right here, they explain very well what we're going to achieve. We're going to have requests that can ask for data, it can create new data, it can update data, and it can delete data for a customer, for instance, or whatever you need, whatever entity you have available. So this is kind of what we're going to set up. And don't worry, I'll dive into all of this in the next lessons, but I kind of just want to get you guys started. And uh, what I want to do as the final thing right here is show you guys something crazy, because I try to make a small drawing that kind of explains what we're doing right now. So I'll try and jump into the drawing and jump back and forth between the code and the drawing just to try and explain to you how right now that we actually get from our console application and ask to get a customer and then we get all the way down to our actual system where we actually show the customer. But that's for next lesson. Now you guys know the goal of the application is going to be creating a beautiful REST API up here instead of the current symbol console app. So see you in the next lesson where we'll try and explain the current way that we talk from the UI all the way down to the infrastructure. Have fun. Bye-bye.